live and recording. Uh, okay, yeah, that hmm, that was stupid. I thought I was streaming already, but yeah, Stream Deck looked like it was active, but apparently it was not. So yeah, no pre-stream this time then. Yeah, okay. and uh, let's see. All right, the thing on Discord confirmed we are live. Okay. Oh, oh well. We had a time that we didn't do pre-streams anyways, but yeah. Uh, oh, hey everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, t tonight, actually, this time. <clears throat> Along with... Face him first, Mr. Kier, at your service. And welcome back to Tomb Raider Legend, where last... Well, it's our second stream of this. And hello there, Mac. <laughs> hey again to you as well. Hello uh, there, Mac. Uh, let's see. Make sure the game is selected. There we go. Last time that we got started on this game, we got quite a bit of uh, more in-depth background on Lara, or at least this version of Lara in this area of Tomb Raider games. As in, well, when she was young, a lot of things uh, a dig site went absolutely to shit. And currently, we're in Ghana chasing after someone who was involved in that shit. Someone, you know, Laura thought was long dead. Okay. Up, up, and that way. Okay, okay. There we go. For some reason, Laura didn't want to move there for a bit moment. Nope. Uh, okay, bunch of explosive barrels. Why? Yep. Open eight. Flip. And yeah, these are mercenaries who are working for a senator's son. And yeah, they're in our way, so they need to get out of our way. And that, hello there, fucking Rambo. Don't mind if I use your colleagues as, as meat shields. No. <laughs> he went for a swim. <laughs> yeah. We aren't Almost going for a swim yet. <laughs> okay. Oh, dear gods. Yep, 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 yep. Bad cat. There we go. Put enough lead in his skull and it will eventually tip over. Alright. I thought we had enough of these things with Indy, but <laughs> apparently not. Okay. I kind of wonder. Two of them. What? Three? Uh, are they just going to keep coming? They did spot. Oh no. Okay, uh, just to avoid uh, debris and such. Now, what does... Okay, door go open. I'm guessing the moment we get off, it slaps shut. Slaps shut. Slams I, shut. <laughs> I, I'm so that I don't trust the game. Lara. You came for the Galali key too, then. Perfect. Pretend I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you know. It's what puts the sword back together. It's the size of a fist. And according to Amanda's research, it's here. What do you know about Amanda? Where is she? So, your, your father did some digging here, didn't he? You know, Amanda thought maybe he found the key. I don't know what you're talking about. Tell me about that sword fragment you're so fond of waving about. Huh. Well... I have been spending some time with it, and I've learned a couple of things. Let me show you. Oh great, it's super powered frat boy. Oh no. Oh, he's, he's throwing grenades around. Okay, that's a 
Dude, that, that, that revealed some sort of emblem that we can grapple onto. Uh, he uses them to heal up. Laura, use your freaking grapple, please. Oop. I remember that there is some way to just do a sort of jump kick off of an enemy. <laughs> he blew himself up. if it's a better idea to just destroy all of the platforms or just wait for him to be up on them yep. let's just pull them all down that way he doesn't get the chance to heal at all Ooh. let's just shut up oh he's pissed yeah he's pissed He's jealous of Laura's acrobatics. <laughs> yeah, he's totally jealous. With him talking about bet, yeah, how we bet we can do what he's doing. They were designed to separate and reattach. The Galali key does that? I don't suppose you'd tell me where this came from. The Crusades? King Arthur? Uh, history doesn't interest me. Well, then why don't you stay here and consider the future? Make sure I'm not in it, however. You won't enjoy seeing me again. Your father might not have found the Galali key. But Amanda doesn't know that. She's at your mansion right now. You better have good insurance. God, finally. I've been trying to get through for ages. Wow. This woman just threw her way through the front door. She had some sort of... I don't know what the hell it was. It's like black smoke. I'll be there straight away. Oh. She's going for another piece of the sword. What? Where? In Kazakhstan. I found a photo that matches the pieces you have. All right. Do an inventory and try to locate something called the Galali Key. Meanwhile, it looks as if I'm bound for colder climes. Back warm. I mean to be cold. <laughs> okay, that was a cold line. Let's see. We've got cinematics, bios, another outfit, and some more models. Okay. And we're going with this outfit, which is going to look a lot familiar to Tomb Raider fans, since I'm pretty sure that's the one she starts the entire time. Go ahead. I was right. It was a secret Soviet project from the 50s called Karbonek. The laboratory was studying an ancient sword fragment, but some mysterious disaster brought the KGB down, and they erased it all from history. Almost. There seems to be trouble below. You got there right on time. Or a little late. Those are Rotman's men attacking the Kazakhs. Or Amanda's. Most likely she's the one behind this. The lab is somehow connected to that military base, but we don't know how. If you can find the command center, we might get a better idea. Now, after the firefight dies down, you should try to... Oh, come now, Zip. Waiting is for the patient. Or those without parachutes. Well, I'd look around more, but go ahead and jump when you're ready. Okay. And hello, Glacier Boy! And this hello is your again. favorite level? Yeah, I think you'll see in a bit why that might be. Let's see. Okay, nothing much really to tag or anything like that. Uh, now, Laura. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, Laura Bonk. Clip. That's a clip. <laughs> How did you fail that? I'm pretty sure I hit the key, right? But you did. Now, Laura. There we go. Too late, maybe. Oh, hello. Yeah. But you've just <laughs> leapt from the frying pan into a nest of hornets. A nest of hornets where I'm the one armed with a mini gun, or at least a mounted gun. Yeah, I think this is the case that cheese is the hornet. Yeah. Oh, the swarm of hornets in this case. Alright, anyone else dumb enough to stick their heads out for their paycheck? Your family will appreciate your life insurance. Okay. Nope. Oh, yeah, someone's still alive somewhere. Yep. <laughs> okay, they blew their friends up with a grenade. Okay, these guys were smart enough to stay in cover away from the gunfire. Yeah, holy. Well, what are you seeing for sure? They're not getting my toasty. Nope. Uh, yes, I'm eating toasties or grilled cheese or grilled sandwich or whatever <laughs> all the countries call them. Plenty of med kits around. Let's see, is that climbable? That looks climbable. Yep. yep. Yeah, well, of course. <laughs> now, let's... Oh, this way. I feel like that was intentional game design. <laughs> uh, very much so. Okay, time to put the gun away, Laura. There we go. Now then. Any more trouble? I hear what sounds like a submarine pinging. Oh. Okay, whoever that uh, oh he's still you're still alive okay oh you've got a grenade launcher okay kill the kill the yellow ones first they're not as cowardly as then their clothing might make you think do we take the grenade launcher or do we not I tempted to say yes but also fearful of it only three shots. Let's see. Anything in here? Get down. <laughs> okay, Matrix Impact. You are American. British. And it looks like we share an enemy. Where's your command center? Yeah, yeah, she understood every word of that. <laughs> oh, dear God. <laughs> Yep. Oh, you with you. I'm pretty sure they threw two grenades at our feet, but apparently they didn't take. I, I guess they hit the sand. Okay. Some can someone confirm to me how resistant sandbags are? Yeah, so bullets, bullets pretty much, well, I'd say, but grenades... Okay, Donkey Kong, get some of your own freaking medicine. Okay, that was smart of them. Yeah, and from Glacier Boy, she has a plot armor. They are fairly resistant. And there is a reason that people actually use them. Oh, yeah. Yes. Satellite photos. 
We got our own. There's nothing there. The lab wouldn't be visible from above. We need maps. There it is. Ooh, that's a hike. I'm not walking. There's a military transport train that runs past the lab. It looks like Amanda's boys are ahead of me. I'd better run. Oops. We have a train you know, to stack, guys. Your train's about to roll. You better run. Fast. Gee. Ah, there it is. So what is oh, with that yeah. sonar ping? I'm pretty sure that's not needed here at all. Yeah, I wanted that too. And also, I do feel Amanda is not Amanda. Bar <laughs> okay, I need to figure out if there's some key to put away the weapons. Because they're getting away in yeah, the getting in the way of the platforming, I see as I jump through an open skylight. <laughs> oh bloody heck. And the train sequence? Uh oh. No, we we are heading out to catch a train. Also, Laura, it would be much smarter if you use the palms of your hand on this instead of use your fingers. Those are going to be bleeding at this rate. There we go. Oh. Right. Come Glacier Boy, think this sonar thing is just the amb ambience with music or tech. Probably. Cannot wait for. Um, there we go. Um. Yep. Keep coming to the smuggle, Laura. Oop. They're detaching sections. Trying to speed up. Okay, I see incoming. A lot of we are incoming. Okay. Okay, <laughs> it's a choice to be out in this cold without any sleeves. Oh, it's not that cold. Out. You're a bit bouncy. So probably be careful of the guys with shotguns. Yep. Yeah, I know Laura is pretty, but there's no need to just throw yourself at her like that. Oh, come on! <laughs> okay. Give me that med kit. Besides of that, it probably has enough bandages to well, bandage up an entire pyramid. Out. Uh, oh no, the bridge is not out. It okay, it looked like the bridge was out there. <laughs> Subtle. Hmm. And that's another name to edit out. What I'm seeing on the side here. Uh, yeah, Glacier, please don't use people's uh, real names and such. Uh, yeah, uh, um. I just accepted our apologies uh, in this court. Okay, let's not shoot that. Don't go over the edge again. Okay, give me those. And we're full on health. But at least I'm glad they are enjoying this.
Okay, it looks like there might be some visual goof. That's a big one. There it looks like there are some glitches with the ice and such. It's, it's supposed to be reflecting, but it said it's showing through everything. Well, it is an old game. Yeah. Which would also explain why it, that happened with uh, Nishimura's uh, glasses. How long is this damn train? Wait, I think the question is more of how much are they delivering? Oh, I actually got that one with that. Okay, that's them taken care of. And, yeah, the area is basically looping. But this is supposed to be a long-ass track. Yeah, to so put it better on the system to be looping instead of custom make it all the way through. Yeah. So how many guys does Rutland have here? Yeah, uh, wait, from the over here. I think there's this a music cue for when you're near the end. Alright. It's not crashing with that. I, I kinda like when they do something to hint that they are getting close. Some music cue? Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good option. I'm pretty sure I saw one of the cars go side. Okay, I saw one go sideways, and one went through the freaking rock there. Yeah, and one went through the... Um... Uh, and also, who leaves the... Who leaves the propane tanks in the open? Point? Uh, several shit. Okay, that I approve of for... I think seeing games similar like this level... But I need no checkpoints at all. And this looks like it's a copy of the previous bit where we went aside as well. Oh well. There are no medkits there though. I think that's a good, a good thing, but that means you have a chance to get used to it. You better not be uploading this shit to YouTube, is <laughs> it? And end of the road. Now don't go flipping off the front and shooting the driver on this one, Laura. I don't think you'll survive this one. Uh, who the fuck? Who the fuck put a propane tank there? What the heck? But uh, I think it's called a cow catch on this. Yeah, more like a snowplow is. All right. What the heck? makes a glorious entry as always. Phew. I feel like I just lived through a train wreck. How about you? Undoubtedly. Amanda's already inside and the door's sealed. So now what? There's a vent on the wall to the right of the cargo door. The fan's running. She's got the power on. How will you get in? One way or another. Way. Did they? Wait, the, the, the old guys were on the train, so why? 
to get a bit of Laura. Like, these guys are being thrown at us like absolute cannon fodder, so like yeah. they give a damn if they blow up a hundred of them just to yeah, try and get rid of Laura. I see that Glacier Boy said the same sentence as you. Okay, uh, not that way, this way. Okay. Yeah, he's right. The music is kind of spooky. Yeah. And again, we are in an abandoned Soviet research facility. Uh, I'm guessing backwards? Nope, but downwards, okay. Oh, same trick as before, only this time there's flames. Oh dear. Up, up, up. Okay, might be a bit short on this. Nope, still got it. Okay. And let's, can we just jump to that? This place is going to be pretty interesting. Getting colder. This entire mountain is basically a big ass freezer. What the heck? Okay, I was going for a dive there. Let's see. If I remember correctly, this is my favorite part of the level, the research place. Just the level design, the ambience, and all that. Freezing is not a nice way to go at all. Yeah. Oh. oh. Also, who is responsible for all of this wiring? And I'm surprised we didn't get shocked there. Much colder in here than it was outside. Where what? Oh. I. I guess that would make sense. And cold could be trapped, as long as there's nothing to heat it. Combining what we've done before. Um, let's see. Yeah, Gregor, it's a very slow way to go to freeze to death. Yeah, you don't have the luxury of dying of shock instead. Fragile architecture. Let's take up coolant systems on top of being in Siberia. Look at the lights. She's only found the emergency power. She came in through the main doors. I don't think she's been here. Looks like there's a generator on the other side of the room. She would have started it. Hmm. It sounds as if it's out of fuel. Okay. Ah, and that's the fuel depot. Let's see, how do we get to that? Also, why is this thing built like an oversized lawn mower? No, 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 no. That's not a lawn mower. That is the fact that you pull it like that. Oh no, 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 no. That's your Minecraft constructions. No, those are much bulkier. Uh, speaking of, I should I have completed one big construction or medium-sized construction more on the Minecraft world with now the medieval Minecraft world that is, and I need to work on some more with that. There we go. Fuel this thing up with farts. That should do it. And there we go. There you go. 
Thank you for copying me, Zip. You have to admire this map's simplicity. And what do you know? It looks just like a carnival sideshow. Now, let's see. If I knew anything of Russian, I'd be able to read stuff of this. But that there looks important. And let's see. Judging from the shape, I'm guessing we are here. Mm, actually, no, this place is too small. So we might be here. We'll have to see. I wonder if that's toxic. I guess it's cooling. But who knows what kind of lethal crap the Soviets were using. I'd rather not find out firsthand. Okay, oh definitely yeah. avoid that. All right, it seems uh, Glacier Boy agrees with you. That it looks like a lawnmower. Okay. Okay, now we've got some high power to deal with. Okay. Get moving, Laura. There we go. Wait, you can read it, Glacier Boy? Let's see if I can read that. It says cafeteria and something about extended car warranty. <laughs> uh, no, he can't. He's just pulling your leg. Stay up here. I, I would not be surprised, but it's not the first time he been pulling my leg. But also, I would not be surprised if that was an Easter egg. Amanda? Damn it, Laura, I'm busy. I see you've changed your look. That was you in Bolivia then, with Rutland. I've been all over, and I'm going to places you can't conceive of. You're the one being left behind this time. Sorry. I'm sorry, Amanda. If I'd known that you were alive, I swear I would have done everything I could to save you. Please. I got over that a long time ago. You know what really used to bug me, though? When I got out, and saw that you left without even trying to... What is it archaeologists do? Oh, right. Dig. We thought of it as a memorial. Whatever. Don't let her follow me. First smart thing the moops ever do. Oh, thank goodness. We are to use it. <laughs> yeah, and it is Amanda, having yeah, and, gone goth. And there's something else about it. And... Oh, um, do you see that, uh, oh, brother, what do you call the front part of a gun? The barrel? Yeah, uh, oh, it doesn't have, that's not a barrel. Did you see that? You may be right. It doesn't seem to work very well. Well, they theoretically need a lot of power, like from that Tesla tower across the way. If you could get that Tesla tower fired up, well, I never thought I'd get to say that. Hmm. We might be able to bridge the gap somehow. Yep, okay. we, we get to play with Tesla's toys. Oh dear, I had to ask, was... What was later I learned about Tesla? Didn't he dislike weapons? Mm, I forget specific. I forget the specifics, but in his later days, he did quote make a quote unquote death bay. But that was about the time that he started mentally deteriorating. We have some boxes around. What are those for? All right, then I guess it will make sense. Okay, we can safely go down through here, and this guy is just waiting for us. Actually, can we ruin your day early? Sadly not. 
Okay, I thought you would have a bit more expo to you, Galara. Galara? Uh, Laura. Yeah, this guy has some sort of rifle. Is it, is it Galara someone from some older franchise? How did I know of? Oh, oh, this guy has a ballistic shield. Okay then. Uh, Present. It, he, he did, but this is a sewage research. It said that's what. Oh, wait. Yeah. I think I. I thought you said it wasn't running. It's just the ambient discharge. The tower was on. You know it. And if I were the energy source, where would I be? Up top. Uh oh. Yeah, um, it says enough about how powerful this stuff is if the ambient charge from like 50 years later is enough to be really painful. Holy. And I just realized they could have taken a lot of his research notes and try to weaponize those things. Yeah. Uh, like, let's... If they see something that's not supposed to be a weapon, they could try to figure out a way to turn it into a damn weapon. Yeah. And, um, well, when you have methods of making a lot of power, that would also be uh, a lot of power to possibly, well, power weapons. Okay. Yeah, and um, let's be honest. I think many people who see the wool lightning from the oh, blue small things. Just as the people. weapons. Ow. Oh. Heal. Well, it does show how painful the ambient charge is. Also, a little something. We can't jump after the first uh, swing. We can't jump onto the first. Yeah, on the first swing with those bars. We. Laura has to pass over at least once before she will actually jump off. Which is something I kind of like, actually, since... Uh, yeah, she's actually taking her time to make sure her grip is secure and such. She's not rushing. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, she did comment on the... About the patience, but... Uh, she knew when to be patient. Yeah. She has to use momentum too, yeah. That too. Okay. She is not a monkey after all. As agile as she is. Okay, let's not fail the jump this time. 75 tries later. Okay. There we go. Get a bit of height. Jump across before that charge dissipates and the next one comes. Okay. There we go. I'm and checkpoint. No want for him up here either. They funneled Tesla energy into the artifact, and there was an enormous discharge of some sort. The KGB shut down the operation, removed the core, sealed off the lab in sections, and left behind no scientists. Can the tower be powered up from here? Not without the core. Looks like it's not here. I guess that's what those tracks in the floor are for. Did you accidentally interrupt, yeah. But we got the we got the gist of it. What are those hanging cords and sockets? Decoupled high current cables. You're lucky they're off, or you'd be standing in the middle of a painful light parade. But uh, yeah, we got the gist of it. The, something went wrong, and they basically sealed off the, the place to leave everyone inside to die. Okay, there's a car up ahead. I hear somebody. And now we never know what Sip wanted to say. Oh well, yeah, I agree with you there. <laughs> the I agree with you. <laughs> ah well, <laughs> okay. Uh, a day. Well, we should up after killing you as well. Powered up from here. Not without the core. Looks like it's not here. I guess that's what those tracks in the floor are for. Oh, the hear it. What are those hanging cords and sockets? Decoupled high current cables. You're lucky they're off, or you'd be standing in the middle of a painful light parade. 
Okay. This time, let's make sure to dodge the grenades. And also, when did you two become a thing? Uh, 2000 somewhere. Yeah. For a thing, when this came around, I'm unsure they were let's plays then. But I know YouTube started out with mostly short videos. Yeah. It was the start of the Okay, YouTube became a thing two Year years after, after this, this game. Yeah. Let's see. No, we cannot jump onto the oversized thing. Uh, let's see. You can move your rounds, I'm guessing. Yep. There's heavy debris on the tracks. I don't see how I can move it. It doesn't matter if the core doesn't have power. Get it charged, and then we can do... Hello, what? Lara. What the... How the hell did you get on this channel? Hush, Sip. She must have taken a headset while she was rearranging your office. You're so smart, Lara. Do you know why the Soviets called their project Carbonek? It's the castle where Lancelot sought the Holy Grail. Not the first connection to Arthurian myth I've come across. Myth, she calls it. A limited word for a limited perspective. You are always such the scientist. You're probably right at home with all these Tesla contraptions, aren't you? As much as anyone, I suppose. The Russians activated a power in the artifact that literal minds can't handle, and it destroyed them. So don't push the wrong buttons. You best not either. But I know which ones are the right ones. You've learned to read Russian since I last saw you, a man. She hung up. What the hell was that about? She's having difficulty obtaining a sword fragment, but she doesn't want to blow everything up in the process. Uh, maybe you should have told her what she wanted to know. Another unlucky scientist. Let's see. He writes that at least a dozen of his colleagues were killed in the experiment. The artifact converted the Tesla voltage into something else. A a wave of concussive force of some kind. That's familiar enough. So why were they shut down? Uh, they refused to repeat the experiment, and when the KGB tried to persuade them otherwise, it got nasty. Uh, of course. Already trying to weaponize something, they try to weaponize it even more, they refuse, and a lot of people get killed. at some point. It's not charged all the way. I don't know what's wrong. How am I supposed to move it if I can't touch it? The cable on your grapple is insulated. Right. <sighs> yeah, now we need to pull this thing around a bunch. Ooh. Yeah, it's tossing this stuff around. <laughs> it's made out of paper. What the heck? Yeah, I can see why they decided to pull this thing out. Yeah, I'd rather prefer the door stays in the up 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 in the frame. What happened here? Weird. The core must have powered these cables somehow. And those rails in the wall are the most convenient conductors around. Yep. Just gotta give him a tug. And there. Okay, these are some unique traps. Oh, well, they're technically not traps, but they are the traps for this level. Yeah. Okay. In you go. 
that's just the core. How does the entire thing look? What the? Yeah. Now the entire place is electromagnetic. No no one's for him up here either. It is a letter? Funnel Tesla energy yeah, into is. the artifact. Oh, wait, wait. And there was an enormous discharge of some sort. The KGB shut down the operation, removed the core, sealed off the lab in sections, and left behind no scientists who weren't forcibly removed. A peculiar turn of events. Checkpoint. Oh, that's it? Yeah, oh, that's... we had that before. Yeah. yeah, but last time you did uh, interrupt it, but... Too early, again, with moving doors like this, today. What the heck? We don't have a stasis map jewel this time. There we go. It's almost faking you out a bit. Hello? Hello? What is this doing here? It's a shield. Tenth or eleventh century. Probably recovered with the piece we're looking for. It resembles Lancelot's crest, doesn't it? It would have been better it existed. Oh, what's this now? It looks like a map. Have a good look and see what you can make of it. What do you think it's for? Maybe our knight There's the camera. On his way home. Or perhaps this piece wasn't all he had. You think he stashed more of the sword somewhere? Possibly. But the map is useless without a reference point. I'll work on it. Going offline. Splint. Like the others. Yeah. I just saw the camera. Yeah. It is the earpiece there. Okay, I thought it was a mic, but apparently it's the camera. Yeah, I think I see a bit of a bulb at the upper side. That could be the camera part. Oh, yeah, I saw the camera lens in the cutscene. Okay, I, I overlooked that. Too contemporary for serious. It seems the date from recent the past millennia. I'm sorry, but am I missing something? How old exactly is this artifact we're looking for? Older than you would think. I hope we're not dealing with more ancient Atlantean bullshit. Also, hello. Let's see. We are shielded by a. Let's see. Of course. Uh, let's see. G to pull in. And then H to push. It doesn't really seem to do much to them. Hmm. Actually. Uh oh. Okay, actually, <laughs> actually, I actually let er loose too early there. He still managed to yeah. get him. Let me say this. Where's your brother, Mac? Don't you bloody dare try to build this thing. I knew you two were basically tech priests. I think that blew up on something else. Yeah, yeah. Both of those blew up on the... Oh, well. Let's pull that all the way over. And we'll just finish this one off the old-fashioned way. So here's a shield. Uh, we put away the gun for a moment, Lara. Actually, whilst these around, she might not actually, she might actually not do that at all. But there we go. Oh, now everything is powered. Okay, just get a, get across. In grenade range. Yep. <laughs> he did. Okay, he'd rather fall to his death than deal with the explosives. He did die also. Oh dear god. Should we clip that? I might as well. Oh dear god. That. What? I get this easy to duck for cover, you see? Yeah. 
ducked the wrong way. Oh dear yeah. gods. Come on, Lara. There we go. Go ahead. This way. There we go. Just going into act into <clears throat> aim mode also uh, speeds up, oop, up for where we can go. Uh, okay, pull, duck. There. Okay. What is with all this debris around? Oop. There we go. I almost overlooked that one. I think, yeah, we are in the experiment chamber now. Hey, Amy. Amanda. I'm sorry for what happened, but we can still work together. There is no we, Lara. There never was. It was just me down there. Me and this. Do you remember it? I touched it, and it touched me back. I don't think that was a good thing. I tamed it then, and made it my own. to reach the hilt an unknown entity yeah okay luckily we have a bit of invulnerability as we're pulling these levers but uh yeah amanda you don't have it tamed if you only unleash it okay two down uh, whatever favorite part dampening field. this is your favorite Oop. part Oh dear gods. Yeah, we are going to kick a demon's ass with Tesla tech. So what's there not to love? We always, I'm not sure if that even is a demon. Yep. It's at least smart enough to try and predict our path. There we go. Circuits. Ow. Okay, are we okay? We can't actually affect it with this. Can't keep the circuit going. Out. Get in. And that's hopefully going to do something. Oh, wait. It's exposed. Or it was exposed. Because it, now it has the electromagnetic shield again. Okay. Oh dear, Helium. Come on. Yeah, the shield is shrinking with each time. Oh, it's each one that we connect. And I think we better run. Run to the hills! 
go <laughs> and we are heading to Britain okay another new outfit and we missed most of the stuff but that's another priority and uh, okay I have to say I really like this outfit okay I would have liked it if we could progress through the loading screens at our own pace, because it does say a lot of stuff in it. Yeah, I noticed that. Ooh. There seems to be a fine line between coincidence and irony. King Arthur Museum. <laughs> you sure about that map? Unfortunately, there was some nonsense about the discovery of the real King Arthur's tomb here years ago. Soon discredited. And yet another roadside attraction was born. Well, let's see what we can see, shall we? At least it should be educational. Also, Laura, if you run into a guy called Stan Ford in there, don't trust him. <laughs> Either housekeeping should be fired, or no one's been inside for months. I don't think Snacks. more than months. It, this is complete disrepair. Yeah. Now this is familiar enough. Go for it, Laura. Test your royalty. <laughs> Sword in the stone. No King of England jokes, Alistair. I probably have to turn on the power first. Okay. Oop. Right. Bonk. <laughs> okay. Just move this into its place. Oh dear. Oh, got a new fun fact. Mm, go ahead. Gift or gift, as we say in Swedish. This place has seen better has days. It's been condemned since the death of the owner, one Professor Worth. I shudder to think that at one time he had students. Go ahead. Uh, I would say, gift has a different meaning here in uh, Sweden and some other Scandinavian countries, and German apparently as well. Okay. It means poison. <laughs> and okay. Venom. Also, this thing charges up real fast once it's off. There we go. And I can refill my drink. So, Glacier Boy, make sure Hivian doesn't die. <laughs> no promises, and that cable is so going to turn on and electrify this place. This way, Laura. There we go. And we have power. Hey, now that the power's on, maybe you can go back and pull out Excalibur. It's not Excalibur! The, the sword and the stone in Excalibur were two different bloody swords! Arthur got Excalibur after the sword and the stone broke in his battle with Valinor! Oh, good grief! Boys. <laughs> Sorry. Salty Alice there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that is a fact that a lot of people get wrong. And that's a you put one half new open cures off a not that detail or the thing. Those are the those are some crappy looking King Arthur figurines. Uh, holy. 
Yeah, it was so horrible. I'm just looking for dummies. Alistair <laughs> does not like this place. So that there would be no squabbling between the knights, Merlin bequeathed upon Arthur yon round table, which was the table neither square nor buttressed, but circular in form. Twas a symbol of unity and equality, and twas from whither Arthur's knights took their name, the Knights of the Round Table. I'm assuming you're taking notes. Uh, it, it, it is it is well known now, but it is a rather it is a bit of a stupid name. Is it just to have your knightly order named after a bloody table? Hey, it, it, it might have been a very impressive table. Oh yeah. Thus did King Arthur gather around his person ye greatest knights of ye realm, that they might be paragons of chivalry and virtue. Gaily they capsed. Yea, and twas an assembly as had not before been seen, and verily there was much rejoicing. Hey, push the button again. It's like electroshock therapy for Alice there. I like to think it keeps him sharp. <laughs> <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure this is not how ye all the English was actually spoken. It was a lot more crude, I believe. Uh, it's, depending how far back, it's sounded more Scandinavian, actually. And let's see, Glacier Boy. I think Merlin is based off a real druid, if I remember correctly. Behold ye, holy this in Such a vision of yon cup of Christ did verily appear to Arthur and his knights, whereupon several amongst them did quest for to find it anon. And they twere four, Lancelot, Galahad, Percival, and Bors. And yonder they journeyed, none e'er returning. Though Galahad did see the grail, and yea, his heart was gladdened muchly. How did they know he found it if he didn't return? Exactly! <laughs> also, you could probably read that as a bunch of dudes got drunk as all F, and uh, <laughs> were, were fawning over a mug, and then went to look for a legendary mug that didn't exist. <laughs> Yeah, and oh, yeah, uh, yeah, that is true. It was right for Saxon and Saxon were same language group as uh, well, Germanic, which is Scandinavian and Germanic. Now, and uh, yeah, Saxons before they Ew. invaded England had this same religion as Vikings. Just okay, had their own back dialect up. names for them. Yeah. Okay, I thought this was a slope that we'd slide off of. But apparently not. Okay, so we just have to get over there and get back quick. Okay. Yeah, for now. And, and also, before I get. You know where he spoke near those three knights? Yeah. I think they made a Monty Python reference. If they did, I missed it. And Okay, is there something we are missing here? Because we can't get up that quickly. Yep. Or do we need to jump back or something? Let's try that. Like maybe the weight tips it off enough. Yeah, 
There we go. Doesn't make real sense why it goes back up again if our rate was enough to tip it down, but oh well. Let's see, the Monty Python Knights were named after the actual Knights. Okay. He's just riding him up. Also, maybe it's just me, but these models look a lot like... Uh, uh, what was that? Simon the Sorcerer? Simon the Sorcerer 3D. They look a lot like that. Yeah, it, it looks like it's from another game, almost. Uh, um, also, remember the last time we met a lady in the lake? Oh, that didn't end too well for her. Was the lady? Oh wait, a different game. <laughs> no, with Jones, he just beamed the lady of the lake across with a skipping stone, <laughs> across the head with a skipping stone. What? Armed and dangerous. <gasps> oh right. There we go. <laughs> I had forgotten that part. Yeah. Let's see, we've got another one here. I'm guessing this isn't going to work. Uh They are skipping over a few parts, like I, I believe Guinevere cheated on him or something with Percival, was it? Lancelot. Yeah, Lancelot, yeah. You messed up the most well-known part with the wrong knight. Okay. And go. Maybe the grunting Saxon or the Roman fascist that Alistair believes the whole legend was built around. Hello. Mm. This is where the truth behind the myth is supposed to be explained. And it's been turned into a warehouse. Fitting. There's been so little truth everywhere else. Why start here? The only factual basis behind the King Arthur myths died centuries before this place was built. Give Professor Worth some credit. If he had to close an exhibit for renovations, at least he picked the most boring one. Also, uh, apparently Laura is, cert <laughs> is forklift certified. <laughs> Let's see. Lancelot broke the sword in the stone because he wielded it with an impure house. Okay. Beep, beep. Definitely isn't Arthur's tomb. We knew that already. What's wrong with it? I've seen enough tombs in my life to know when I'm looking at a cenotaph. Say who? A diversion. This place is trying too hard. It's hiding something. A body? No, that's the problem. It's, it's hiding not poor... hiding a body. Yeah. It's hiding poor masonry work, it looks like. Yeah. Actually, can I... 
Okay, I can use the left mouse button to, l to pull it up. But not the right one to get it back down again. I guess... Hmm. It, 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 it had might been well hidden in the past, but all the gener whole generation and generation and all that... That uh, some parts may have uh, oh, become visible. Yeah, this place has suffered some pretty bad water damage. Okay. Yeah, Let's and still way. erodes. So you could uh, now this do that. Is nice. Be careful. Uh. You don't want to demolish anything important. Really, Alistair? I have a velveteen touch. But I'm glad to see you now think there may be something important here. So, uh, nobody checked the bloody walls? Um. Oh, so ancient, <laughs> ancient traps meet modern technology. Wait, what? There has to be a way to raise this door. Oh, all right, it has some fence things on the side, but still. Okay, it's not strong enough to lift this. I guess those traps were strong enough to kill a human, but not in. But when they made the truck, they just broke apart. Yeah. They are, oh, okay, so it is strong enough to lift it. <laughs> uh. uh. Oops. Well, but so. Right. <laughs> I decided to take the slow way down instead. Should have told that to the forklift. <laughs> well, there goes our time uh, cosplaying as this Kool Aid Man. Indian. I'm sorry to say that, this, but you look. Please, Alistair. This will take some concentration. Yeah, pipe down, Alistair. We're going to say. I was to say uh, you're now sadly banned from driving forklifts. Forklifts. <laughs> she lost her certification. You lost it. <laughs> also, I don't know where the meme of forklift certification actually comes from. Like it's supposed to be that people who have it are supposed to be lethal or something. But it's a meme. Yeah. Oh, wait, yeah, it's kind of a meme now, yeah. Good question. And I was still questioning myself, why did I say folk lips when I tried to say folk lifts? <laughs> because your accent keep messing up whatever you're saying. <laughs> I think it was less of my accent, more of a trip on my word. I'm glad you made but it also, it's not I put the spit. So am I. That doesn't mean you don't have to be quiet anymore. Let's see, we've got a door with three, or a wall with three. What the heck? Uh, the pixelation. I, I think it's giving me, making me read wrong here. Someone's take away Laura's fork hilt? <laughs> yeah, someone take away Laura's forklift certification. Okay, yeah, there, there, there's some Looks weird like pixelation there's going on there. The water table. Who knows how long it's been burning? So, uh, anyone for deep fried fish and chips? <laughs> the wings. There's your answer, Alistair. Wow. You know you're gonna ruin your boots. Not on the path I'll need to take. Let's see. I think I pulled this thing too far. Let's see. Can we just jump across? <laughs> too early. Okay, one thing I kind of dislike a bit is that uh, we have a limited amount of health kits that we carry around. I 
it makes a bit of sense since this game is a lot more action based than Anniversary was. But still. Okay. Put you on there and. Okay. Yep. Needed more. Maybe there's a way up and over. There we go. And there. I hope you're not leaping through there, Lara. There must be a way to stop them up. I certainly hope so. This yep. Okay, we get the clock up we get to clog up a bunch of blades again. Has this become our own version of Tiny Box Tim? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Blade block box. Blade block blocks. A blade block box. <laughs> it, that, it sounds so weirdly catchy. I no, 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 I should hate it or love it. Okay, let's chuck that in there. And pull you out. Actually, is there anything hidden here? Oh, hello. Hello. There's two. Okay, this would get us in here, but we'd be stuck between... Well, not a rock in a hard place, we'd be stuck between blades and blades. There are some very quick blades and some very, very quick blades. <laughs> Glacier Boy, big, yeah, <laughs> big box Brad. <laughs> okay. Oh dear God! I remember whenever Multiply was all about tiny box thing. <laughs> but something hilariously cute about it. Yeah, he, he was doing that whilst he was doing uh, uh, the Amnesia games, right? Oh sure, maybe. I think I think like I think tiny box thing appeared in other games as well, especially the fan games. Yeah, I think that's where it began. And I can't tell if that was a gold or a silver. I'm guessing it was a silver. Uh, I think it, it stopped. He, he, he gave it a name first in a game. Then the fans just gobbled it up and added him in the game with that. Like, where he did the official name with the box, Tiny Box Tim. Yeah, just slip on through. I, I, I have to look that up, all, up after this. Okay. Uh, wait, what? Until Tiny Box Tim died. Okay. Did he you get a, a a tiny coffin, Tim? No way you're long jumping that. Mm. Oh, but it might have been worth trying just to hear you lads talk about it. <laughs> oh, it's such a tease. Oh, I love the interactions. Tell me down in the other games. Uh, they are in Underworld. I can fully confirm that. Um, do I need this one as well for this? Might as well. I did not know Tiny Box Team died. Okay, it was a sad day he was turned to lumber, so he became... Uh, Little Lumber Liam. It still got a bit of a heat, but oh well. Is this oh going to deactivate dear. all that? Yeah, it deactivated and opened the door. Let's see. Oh no. Hey Alistair, why don't you head on down there and stand on that play for it? Why don't you go down and hold that door open? <laughs> uh, these two. Yeah, uh, this we talk about multiplier. I just. 
I don't think they just had the worst parody ID ever. No. Cookie player, Morky player. <laughs> you see that crate oh, yes. on the shelf over there? You could use that on the pressure plate. It's not a crate, it's a coffin. Someone's revered ancestor is in there. Hmm. But yeah. Not that I know this, but Bokeman has confirmed that he does, uh, he is into Warhammer quite a lot. Yes, he doesn't talk about it too much on uh, YouTube. Okay. And that, and since we talked about Tiny Walks Team, I just remembered and like Dorky Plier, then my brain just went Morky Plier and Gorky Plier for some reason. I don't think I've watched much of his stuff recently for like a pretty long time because Typically when he did uh, Let's Play, or did, when he made videos about something, he was among some of the first, but now he tends to be pretty be behind when it comes to certain games. Yeah, no, he, he, he has also been busy with a lot of projects, yeah. like uh, Heist, we always find such, so this does make sense, but he's behind with a few things, but also... He also, he, like, also, like, he accepted, like, I was trying to not burn themselves out. Yeah. And doing more professional, uh, acting stuff. Okay. To a degree. Uh, oh, yeah. So yeah, whoever the fuck you are, get on the plate. If I remember right. Uh, sorry, what? Your final, final yeah, resting just... place, sir. If we're through having fun, it's time to get back to business. No, I just said, sir, whoever the fuck you are, get on the plate. <laughs> Let's see. Last year he oh, yeah. his with Markiplier. Okay. I, I see a bit of that. It, 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 it is hilarious. No. I watched you two other YouTubers for. I don't think I had the patience to do each click of each video like that. Okay, we've got a bit of a current here. Another box. I'll take this time to adjust some travel arrangements I made. It shouldn't take too long. Coward. Don't worry, Laura. I've still got an eye on you. Probably won't be able to hear each other too well when you're underwater, though. There is a god. <laughs> uh, hey, I heard that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Good. Uh, I like the bickering back and forth between these three. Yeah. I, I, I would not be surprised if the these three games are people's favorites. Okay. There we go. I do think... Uh, Second Era Lara has the most personality between the three errors so far. Yeah. Probably do two... Oh dear. But yeah, I would say... It might be finished the text, but there were probably a bit of limitation what the, how much story and character you could put into the games early on. Yeah. Not that it was impossible, like, many RPG did a lot with it. Will you look at that? Oh, this is brilliant. Hmm. That is interesting. Well, I guess we found Avalon. Are you home, Gimbali? <laughs> uh, the, the they... irony of a true, uh, of a real King Arthur. Oh, oh that's, t that's supposed to look the other way. Uh, yeah, the sideshow attraction is built right on top of the real fucking deal. Yeah, no, I don't think this is Avalon. Avalon okay. is, a, is an island. Well, we've and got Avalon, water. If I remember right, Avalon means the island of apples. That was quite cathartic. Well, was he reacting the, to 
<laughs> to lava there, or was that just timed or something? Maybe? And also, do you have something against apples? No, I like apple pie. If it doesn't have too many raisins in it, at least. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, time out! Raisins? Yeah. Or something like... When the... But, I, I, okay, here's the I don't like eat cooking, uh, cooked apples, I only eat raw apples. But I never heard of apple pies with raisin. Drink. Uh, yeah, they are a thing here in the recipe that is used in the Netherlands, or typically used in the Netherlands. And yeah, I just don't like them much. I can stand them, but I, I'd rather have a minimum of them. And looky here. It's another oversized snow globe. We're looking at myth, except it's real. They're all here, the court of Camelot. You're sure about this? King Arthur, who was verily of ye loins of Usurp and Dragon? Hmm? I've no doubt about the authenticity of this tomb, Alistair. Arthur was the 11th century figure that became legend. The once and future king was as real then as the air I'm breathing now. I don't know, Laura. Excalibur. The sword in the stone. That's how it always goes, isn't it? Pardon? Swords in stones, Alistair. They're part of the monomyth. There wasn't just one Excalibur or one Merlin. We keep seeing swords and deuses all over the world because they were everywhere. So you're saying that everywhere they went, they raised up kings, shaping the course of human destiny? Well, it's a possibility. Who? And what happened to them and their swords? Perhaps they're in Avalon. It's as good a place as any. Except our Merlin was killed and our Excalibur was left in pieces in the hands of the locals. So where's Avalon? I don't know. On the other side of the looking glass, perhaps? Told you. Yeah, Guinevere, Guinevere, and then Muradin. And another broken Diaz. Or Dias, or whatever. <laughs> also, we got yeah. a bell. And I was trying to remember, what, what, what were we talking about before the cutscene? Uh, apple pie and raisins. Oh, right. I, I, I eat raisins, not done that in years, and I remember liking raisins. However, just with raisins, I don't like raisins when I put into something. Except for one dish called uh, saffron. Okay. It, yeah. It's a. It's, it it, it kind of looks like it's made the same way as a cinema roll, except it's shaped like a curly S. Okay. Hmm. But otherwise, I would probably not like raisin put in food. I would, I would rather just eat it for the box separately, like a snack. Okay, I think I ate that, that like that for a while, but I haven't in over a decade or two. The same. I, I don't we, think it's good for your teeth. We have Percival here. We have Boris. We have K. And fun fact, this is how the word, uh, the Dutch word for boulder is basically spell, uh, written. Or one oh, of the dear. words. <laughs> uh, he was a stone called something. Uh, Bedweer. Oh, hello. It says Bedivere returned a fragment of Excalibur to Arthur after the other pieces were carried off by the knights. Where did they go? To find Avalon, perhaps. The quest for the Holy Grail. Lancelot, Galahad, Percival, and Bors. Their tombs are empty. It says this fragment was left with Arthur to help him leave this mausoleum when the time came. Perhaps it will help me instead. Hmm. It's off. Let's see, at the very least Amanda isn't here. Yeah, let's see here from Vish Boy. Myrdin is the original name of Merlin? Oh yeah, I yeah. keep forgetting that. Those are the original spelling of the names of... Oh, okay. Yeah. Who the hell is this supposed to be? Double L's. <laughs> <laughs> 
let's see. We have a broken pillar. We have not a box. Well, technically, a grave is a box, or a coffin is a box. <laughs> it's an oddly shaped one. Wait. Are you to put it into the circle? Nope. Where do we go from here? Hmm. Oh, okay, I see. Ah. Okay, just a bit of a Rube Goldberg bit here. We set that thing to swinging. And then we get the bell in location. Second time they've been assaulted now. The leveling he thinks is this. It sounds very Welsh or very ancient uh, British. Hello. Uh, mm. Yeah. <laughs> we had a little. We had little snack in the uh, gift shop. And now we have Big Snack. I don't remember the big snack in the Orphorian legends. Alright. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is not messy. Uh, they're lacking a kilt for that. Okay, come on, bring this thing. Oh, there is a Celtic... Okay, okay, then yeah, okay, then it would make sense with that name. There we go. Got its attention. That part. Yep. Lost its attention. Yeah, we need to distract it. And then just drop a thing on its head. Come on. That's a, that's a pretty small window on that. Ow. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Okay, all names of Celtic roots. Okay. Hmm. Which means I probably pronounced it horribly wrong. There we go. Snack on a snack. What are those? Those are almost like wings on the back of his head or something. I love the word crest. Ow. They distracted you. I suspect they are supposed to be a bit like a display structure to show angry and such. Ow. Now it's angry. But not very smart. There we go. Two for one. Okay, now the two at the back. <laughs> but we have to get closer to this thing. And one of medkits. That's what he's concerned for. In the last game, we were overflowing with med kits. It's not that thing. Oh, come on. 
the very least it's really easily distracted. And the other is blocking the way to the lever. Why are you not... Okay. Come on. Okay, Lord, just grab on this time. Why are we not working? Okay, just try this one instead then. Yeah, that lures it over. Ow. Come on. There we go. Giving the sling quite the headache. One more. Okay, that didn't fully connect, but that did connect with his head. <laughs> yeah, I think he was standing a bit too far from it earlier. I think so. Uh, and now we have a dead snack. Okay. Let's just get out of here. Out of here, good. Is either dead or at the moment unconscious? Chance where it floated up. Okay, either way, it's, well, not out of our way, but we do use it to find the way. Okay. And let's just get out and get whoever the fuck is fucking with our sidekicks. So how fucking deep did they dig for all of this? Could be that they didn't dig for most of it. Someone recovers real fast. Or that was the previous one's mate. Let's see. We just yeah, oh, yeah, we can just grab onto the rope. Okay. I can still hear it breathing over there. Oh wait, that, that's actually where we need to go? Okay. Um, where then, actually? Oh, there's a lever. Okay. Oh. Yep. Ow. Wing in a miss. Literally. There we go. Now this time we get some more momentum. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And one more. And there. Pretty teeny Special. platform here. Uh, let's see, so we, I can't read what he wrote at this time. I think you can, yes, I think you can get eaten by it still. Oh. The music is kicking up. Yep, hello. Yeah, but yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Get flung across <laughs> my grenades. Oh, we got a med kit again. Nice. Okay, just pull out the big gun. I see her. Problem for you is, if you can see her, she can definitely, well, get a scope on you and just gun you down. 
if you need if you used the rope to go back to oh okay so basically if you went the wrong way we promise yeah okay actually there's no real reason to go up here other than well collect some med kits Since even if we go around there, we'd still need a box to block off the blades. So, might as well do that here. Okay. Ow. Rude. Okay. One, two. Still, we got burns. Okay, lost med kits. There we go. Oop. Wait. Bless hmm? you, boy. It, is that how you knew if we still can eat you? D did you accidentally swing the wrong way? <laughs> Oop. Grenadier. Yeah, this is Rutland's doing with how quickly this was set up. Let's see. Oop. Yep. Did you did you really try to throw a grenade on this little platform here? Also, hello. <laughs> ah, we can pull him. There we go. Let's not head back down. Doggy. Okay, something happened with Laura there for a second. But I absolutely know that there is some sort of trick you can pull when you know, getting up close to enemies. But either we completely missed it or I'm completely wrong in remembering that. Maybe it's something in the next game? Maybe. You might as well use one. Okay. Hip. Yeah, I think I think to Alistair's typical night is just hang out in the library and sipping tea. Yeah, that does sound comfy. I, I probably do that. Let's see, we've got more bios and concepts, another outfit, and some more models. And once again, we missed most stuff, but oh well. And that one actually took pretty long. Yeah. And we short on time. This is brilliant. King Arthur was real. The Knights of the Round Table were real. And now we have Excalibur right here in front of us. No 
those stodgy bastards at Oxford will have kittens when they hear of this? It's even bigger than that, Alistair. What Arthur called Excalibur is a powerful artifact that predates him by millennia. Well, it's still in pieces. Who brought the super good? While I was in Ghana, I asked you to look around for the Galali key. No luck, I take it? It was not among your father's collection. Or his records. It wasn't in Ghana either. Or Rutland was... Hello? What's this? I've seen you before, haven't I? Hang on. A striking resemblance, don't you think? The pendant was a gift from your father. I never knew from where he had obtained it until now. Where is it now? It's in the Himalayas. My mother had it with her. Zip, Alistair, I'm going to Nepal. Please make the usual arrangements. We'll take care of it. Come on, man. Not to presume, Lady Croft, but I'd hoped you wouldn't try to use the sword yourself after what happened to your mother. She removed the sword. That's what killed her. I don't intend to do the same. If my father had known any of this, he tried so hard, and they hated him for it. No one hated him, Lara. It bloody well wasn't love, was it? His reputation was destroyed. Now there's more than one thing to be salvaged from that mountaintop. You're gonna be get again. these, aren't we? Hmm? The wreckage should be just on the other side. I can't see anything. You sure you're in the right spot? I never forget a face. I said, we're gonna meet Yetis, aren't we? No comments. Once again, we find ourselves on a mountain without climbing gear. And I doubt any of that snow and ice is stable. You should keep moving before it breaks on you. I have done this before, I know. At the very start of the game, exactly, yes. I kind of wonder, who built those stone edgings? Across the mountain, where there are so no purpose. Uh, maybe some clairvoyant who knew that a certain British adventurer would come through here one day. Uh, not Laura. Uh, stupid camera angles. Sure. Once again, we find ourselves on a mountain without climbing gear. And I doubt any of that snow and ice is stable. You should keep moving before it breaks on you. I have uh, done yeah, I think Alistair can add hazard pay to his paycheck now. <laughs> but, yeah, sometimes the controls are a bit, a little bit iffy with uh, directions. Like if I, if I were to keep pressing left, uh, right here, and then turn the camera, uh, I'd need to shift which key I use uh, to move around. Laura, Laura. Mm. I need to press down and to the right there to get her moving. Once again, we find ourselves okay, on a third time to charm. Fifteen times later. I have done this before. Hmm. Also, fun little fact. I'm pretty sure this isn't the first zip that. Uh, a Laura has ever worked with because I'm pretty sure in Tomb Raider Revela the last revelation <clears throat> in one of the two uh, one of the original Tomb Raider games Laura was also working with a guy called Zip I think it was in the last revelation, number four, I believe. Because that game actually has sections from all over uh, time with uh, Lara. Not as in like she goes to ancient Egypt or such, but different times in her career and such. Okay. Thank you. Ooh. 
Nice music. Yep. yep. Might be the same zip, maybe. It, it, damn it. Okay, at least we got a checkpoint. My technique. Uh, we don't ever see what that zip looks like. Well, it might be. Then again, that is a different timeline, so to speak. So maybe that timeline's zip. Now what? Back down and up somewhere else? Nope. There it is. Man, that's a wreck. How old were you? Eight or nine? Something like that. Yeah, and somehow she got off this damn mountain. She probably was found by rescuers looking for the crash. But she still would have needed to survive for a good amount of time up here. Yeah, for this is very well hidden. That's one of Rutland's. I told him to mind his own business, and here he is following me to the ends of the earth. Maybe he heard you wrong. You think he's in there? I doubt it. Not when he could be at home with his feet up. Watch that sound. That. Hmm, why can't we move that? Okay. No leopards? They are... Okay, be careful. <laughs> you know, this thing could go over the cliff any second. I knew it then, and I know it now. I'll be fine, Zip. Don't worry. Uh, he's still not gone over the cliff. And also... Jaguar, African leopard, and I was snow leopard. I saw they just reused the skin and just gave it a different coloring. Yep. And a snow leopard, when you look at it, you realize... You, you realize that a snow leopard is technically not a leopard. No. It's closely related to tigers. You walk in there without weighing down this end, you'll go right over the edge. Good advice, sir. Time to get out of this death trap. This has always been what it's about. Now there's one more place I'd like to visit. It shouldn't take too long. Okay, someone stepped in there for a moment. Hope not too much of that was audible. Uh, not really. Would that you did something with the mic? Yeah, I turned it off for a moment. Yeah, that's the only thing we heard. Like I, I have a light. I have a sign on the door specifically so people don't come in. But yeah, not always going to work. My God, Laura, this is fantastic! Look at them all. This is a find in itself. Yeah, it looks like part of the. Yeah, the structure was overtaken by the ice across the ages here. Go. Okay, good. I've got it. Okay. Very precarious platform. 
This must be where Santa's evil brother lives. I don't Bloody think hell. it's still bleeding Chauncey, Lara. I'll be fine. I don't think we'll find Krampus anyone here. Yeah, anywhere you live. It's a granite deer up there. Are you? You're dressed in green. Oh yeah, you have a grenade launcher. Or you had a grenade launcher. Let's swap to the rifle again, even if it is a bit low on ammo. Yeah, a bit low on ammo. There we go. I also got called out. Wait, what? That he keeps uh, he keeps saying that he can't look, but he he still keeps looking. So I saw something shiny. Uh, I missed that. Say what you want about the fighting skill of these mercs. They are quick in setting stuff up. Yeah, very quick. Try to avoid going for a swim here. And you'll end up a popsicle if you try to swim it. Hmm. If only I could walk on water. What? Really? Yeah, yeah just get a plate loose. Out. Oh, Laura, you must be absolutely freezing. Are you going to be all right? My bones have gone numb. Oh my god, it is so very cold. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Not to rub it in, but I'm glad I'm at home. Lovely zip. That's quite enough of that. Sorry. Okay, just zip it, zip, or we're going to rub something on you. Probably hot pepper. Oh dear, and uh, for people wondering why I'm reacting, I expected that I, I think Laura shot down to make a big ol... big ol? Bigger splash and more sound. Let's use a bit more lights. Okay. Is any of these coming closer? I think we're going to have to risk it. Also, the things that we are collecting as the relics, I'm pretty sure those are sort of uh, prayer rattles or something. Bad kitty. Yeah, that, that, I see what they've done. They, yeah, that. They just retextured the Jaguar. Really expecting us to swing from that thing where the middle? Um, oh, there's another bell over there. Are, are we going to jump from bell to bell? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh there's another bell in the middle. Oh, yeah. Overlook that one. As Magdashi Boy is saying in chat, yeah. I will tell you it's no joke, and you probably want to get into dry clothes ASAP. Yeah, luckily, this isn't a survival game. And we've hit the timer, so let's keep going to the next checkpoint. That's strange. These doors weren't closed before. I suppose I'll have to work out how to get them open again. Let's see. Weight puzzle from the looks of it. Just 
that thing on there. What? What? What you do with the tiny box, Tim? Okay. We don't have enough weight to bring that down. Let's see. Maybe if we. I think you you put those on that thing too early. Now let's take off the small one. See if that gives us enough weights. Or wait. Okay, I I think we need to bring the yeah we need to bring the gold box up here. Yeah, that's why I said you did the other boxes too early. So a nice little bit of physics that us jumping actually has an effect. Now, get on board, you. I I don't I don't have anything specifically against survival games, but some can be a real pain in the neck sometimes. Yeah. Do they do? They, I guess you can say they come in different flavor. Like, yeah, they was a bit more relaxing. Then you have those that are very hardcore. Yeah. Like, Valheim is part survival game, but that's. Mm, only like part in that you have to make uh, shelter and food gives buffs and such. It's not required to keep eating Every and drinking and such. Has a symbolic function. If only the outside world were the same. Yeah, the Ivalim is, is probably recommended has some food. One thing at a time. But you do fight here. bosses on empty belly. How'd you know that would be there? Give me a moment, please. Back into its stone. <laughs> so much for that. It's been a big waste of time. Now I suppose it's time to work out how to leave this monastery. How about swinging Excalibur once? Just for fun. It's a priceless artifact, not a toy. I'm just saying. <laughs> and yeah, we can actually use it as a weapon now. It is. As you can see, it's quite powerful. Also, Laurie, it might not be a good idea to get on that. Yeah, very much not a good idea. Yeah, I think we just had the checkpoint there. Yeah. Okay. So, let's put down a save. Let's see. Yeah, about two hours and a little bit extra. Okay. Yeah, next time I'm pretty sure we can finish up this game. And then we'll move on to Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb. Okay. So, but before we head out, of course, we are going to look for someone to raid again. And let's see, a lot of people are on. Oh, Zary the Fox is on with Satisfactory. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm just looking, I'm just reading it out before I choose, change the screen share. There we go. Thank you. Uh, okay, the first game on the, on the front page for me is Tomb Raider 2 with 62 viewers total. Okay. It was the earlier. Do I, okay. I think it was to be round was the, the earlier. <laughs> okay, from low to high, up to a maximum of about 100 viewers. We have Zeri the Fox with Satisfactory. We have Positive the Pollux with Sunhaven. Uh, let me double check. We are muted. We are always muted, but it's always good to double check. 
Let's have a peek at whatever this Sunhaven is. Uh, let's see. Looks like a top-down game. Maybe sort of like a core keeper. Hmm. Next up, we have Swallabay 1728 playing Majesty, the Fantasy Kingdom sim. Okay, this looks like an old game. Uh, next up, we have Life Grow with Dredge. Uh, Redacted Cat is still online now with VR Chat. Okay. <laughs> we have Big Restreams with Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition. Little Karibo is online with Yu Gi Oh! For... <laughs> okay, they have a Yu Gi Oh! VTuber avatar as well. Well, it makes freaking sense, of course. Uh, they they could get so copy claimed for that or something. <laughs> Let's see. They're playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. And that is the that's the Yugi house in the background. We have WB PL76 with Valkyria Chronicles. Weird Romance is online with Let's see. Super Lesbian Animal RPG. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like a parody. We have Smoops Other Nonsense with Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. Ted Skeletail is still online with uh, Deep Rock Galactic. A lot more viewers this time. And lastly, we have Halloween 4545 who is streaming Resident Evil 4. No. Shall we rate any of these or shall we look at recommended channels? I think we should rate one of these. Okay, who then? Uh, we've already mm. rated Redacted Cats. Let's see. Well, wait, that's what... Hmm? This one who's also a, re yeah, a reviewer on YouTube, we rated them a bit back. Uh, have I accidentally watched the reason to play Pixork? Maybe? Hmm. Okay, shall we show? Yeah, shall we go rate them or life grow then? So swab, uh, uh, swabble with majesty or life grow with dread? Uh, yeah, let's rate one of those two. Okay, uh, coin flip or you pick? Uh, I say you do a coin flip. Okay, uh, do a crown for I majesty and I. And the other one for the, the dredge. Okay. Oop. There it hit my monitor. Uh, where did it land? Uh, it landed somewhere on my desk. Uh, oh, here it is. Let me just pull that up without changing the way it faces. Let's see. And it, it's coin. Coin was... Who? Uh, and said crown was the majesty, and the other one with I guess it's tails, with dredge. Okay, I'm I'm guessing with crown you mean the symbol on the back, or the coin. Yeah. Itself. Oh right, you used to say heads and tails. Yeah. <laughs> we, we say crown and a clave. Okay. I don't let, know what clave is. <laughs> uh, let's go raid live crow then. I'm still. I typically don't buy games at full price, but then again, this Dreads game is like 25 bucks, so I might just buy it full out. Yeah, there, there uh, is a I've not heard bad things about it. Yes, it is. I don't mind paying full price, depending what kind of game it is. But sometimes a full price is worth the value of some games. Like, if it's just 20 bucks, then why wait on sale? Yeah. It is mostly that I'm a cheapskate and I just have a backlog that's as long as a freaking kilometer if you wrote them all down on paper. Uh, He's not kidding. Yeah. <laughs> He's not kidding. Yeah, I have a thousand plus games on my uh, GOG uh, library with all of my uh, <clears throat> with all of my game libraries combined there, and that's not even beginning about the physical games that I have for like. Uh, uh, physical PC copies, Switch games, DS games, 3DS games, uh, P PlayStation games, and on and on. <laughs> okay. Oh dear. Yeah, uh, we we be planning an intervention for him. 
Yeah, you'll have to get over here first. But for now, uh, slice raid, live grow. Uh, <clears throat> uh, let's see. It is the second, the third I have free as well. The fourth to sixth I have work. Uh, yeah, supposedly training, but I very much doubt that is going to be useful since the, my contract will be ending. We'll see if I have to attend or not. I'm presuming a yes. Uh, but yeah, for now, probably not going to stream on those days. <clears throat> Maybe late streams, since I only have to be there at 8. So, yeah, if we go from 8 to 10, should have enough sleep after. So, I'll put... I'll put evening streams on a maybe then. Okay. For now, uh, yeah, we'll continue with this game when we continue. So for now, let's start up the raids and let's start the thanks. So uh, <clears throat> thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you Glacier Boy for being here. And let's see, any other names that popped up and I missed maybe? Uh, uh, not use Glacier Boy and Mac. Okay. Uh, thank you for being here as well, Mac. And uh, yeah, thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah. Uh, ta -ta -ta. <clears throat> yeah, I think I already said what needs to be said. Green tomorrow, probably just one to have a bit of a rest when I can. Uh, will also give me some time to process and upload the videos, uh, edit out some sensitive uh, material from the Vakir. And uh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. And have a lovely evening. <laughs> I sort of want to. I sort of actually to wonder if it has voice command.